Hey guys, this is DJ Manny D from iTweak iOS, and I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial here on updating your carrier with the carrier update hack. First thing, you want to head over to Cydia, and you want to install this source. Now once you get that source installed, you can go ahead and freeze the screen if you need to. You want to install Calm Center Patch. Now once you uh, install the Calm Center patch, you're going to want to go back and install this source, the iTweak iOS source, and install this T-Mobile US icon short if you're using T-Mobile, as I am. Once you do that, you will be prompt to respring. All right, now that you got that installed, let's head on over to the iTweak iOS website click on the news tab go ahead and scroll down until you see carrier update hack for iOS 7 now you go ahead and scroll down if, if you guys want to go ahead and pause this you can if you want to read this I'm sure you, you've been to the post several times to read but just go ahead and uh, make sure you jailbroken of course you have com center patch installed and then the T-Mobile US icon short if you're using T-Mobile. Now we want to go ahead and scroll down. And this has a little step-by-step -step guide here that you should be following. That I'm kind of going over here on this video. Now the downloads, you want to pick your carrier. Make sure you pick the correct carrier and the correct model of your phone. I'm using the T-Mobile iPhone 5S, so I'll be downloading this. Go ahead and click on download. Now once that's downloaded, go ahead and close that screen. Now let's go back to the home screen, go to search, type in terminal. Now this is for Mac users. And you want to go ahead and paste in the coding that Joe has provided. Go ahead and enter that. And that should be all done. Go ahead and close that up. Now for Windows users, you want to open a command prompt and you want to enter the letters here only in the bold. iTunes.exe, etc. You got 32 bit and 64 bit. Make sure you copy and paste the correct one. Now let's go back to the home screen. Open up iTunes. You want to hold down the Option key for Mac users while you click Check for Update, and hold down the Shift key for Windows users while you check for update. Now you want to browse to where you downloaded that file, the carrier update. Go ahead and click on that. I downloaded the T-Mobile carrier update. Now you're just going to go ahead and click open. I've already done it, so I don't want to do it again. So you just click open, and it's done. Now you want to go ahead, go back to your phone, go into the settings, go to general, go to about, now you scroll down just a little bit and you should be at 16.1 or 16.2. Now at this time you're going to reboot the phone and you will be all set. Okay, to revert back to stock, let's go into iFile. You want to find var. Oop, not that one. Go back. Var. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find mobile. All right, once you're in mobile, you want to click on library. And now once you're in there, you want to scroll down to carrier bundles. Now once you're in bundles, you want to click edit in the top right. Select iPhone. Now click the trash can at the bottom. Move file to trash can. Now go 
oops, go back. Now you want to go into overlay, select all and overlay, and click the trash can down below. Move files into trash. Now click trash can again, empty the trash can. Now go back to your home screen and you want to reboot twice. The first reboot you want it to connect to the cellular data. Then the second reboot you should be all set. Now once you reboot twice go into your settings. Go back down to general. Click on about. Now you should be back to the factory carrier settings. That is it guys, that was how to install the carrier update hack and how to revert back to stop. Thanks for watching, this is DJ Manny D with iTweak iOS.